What's up YouTube, it's James Q Quick from Learn, Build, Teach, and today I wanna to talk about working with TypeScript in Visual Studio Code. So I wanted to start off by saying that this video is sponsored by Microsoft. That may not be uh, too much of a surprise considering that both TypeScript and Visual Studio Code are both created by Microsoft. But they really wanted to show off and highlight a new course platform that they ca have called Dev Collective. Now, I am a big fan of Microsoft content. I've written and published videos and content for them in the past. So I'm actually really excited to be able to share something new that they have out. So uh, on the website that I'm on, I'm in the developer tool section, which is where this video falls in. And they've got some awesome stuff in here already, which is completely free. Uh, there's a Visual Studio Code uh, course in here uh, in addition to the content that I put out as well. So if you're ever looking for uh, extra content, if mine is not enough, there's, uh, there's some stuff in here as well. And then one more I wanted to show you was the mastering Git is on here as well. So if you're, if you're a, uh, a new developer or a professional developer and you're new to Git, that would be a great way to uh, learn Git, which is really an essential tool in your, um, in your tool belt as a developer. So I will leave a link in the description so that you guys can check out all of the amazing free content that they have as well. So uh, let's go ahead and dive in. I think well, first we should probably talk just for a second about what TypeScript is. And it's a strongly typed superset of JavaScript. Now, one of the things that uh, was really tough and difficult for me coming to JavaScript from Java and or C Sharp was kind of, it's got kind of an anything goes mentality. There, there's lack of strong typing. You can pass anything to a function. You can return anything from a function. And that made it kind of difficult for me to kind of understand and, and write good code in JavaScript. So with TypeScript, you kind of get all of that stuff back. It's a typed superset of JavaScript. Anything in JavaScript is valid TypeScript, but TypeScript adds a ton of features and functionality on top of that to help you write. Uh, and they've got here JavaScript that scales, which I think is a pretty good description of what TypeScript is. So with TypeScript, I'm over here in VS Code and uh, I've got a project here that just has open an app TS file, which is blank. So that's where we're gonna start. So to work with TypeScript in general, you have to do an npm install dash G. So a global install of TSC of TypeScript. All right, so this is probably gonna stop because I've already got this installed, but that will be your, uh, your first step in working with TypeScript. So now that I've got TypeScript installed, I could come in uh, to my TypeScript file and I could type regular JavaScript if I wanted to. So I could do a console log and say, hello world. And this is valid TypeScript because it is valid JavaScript. Now to get a little bit more TypeScripty, we could come in and create a function called uh, welcome person, which takes in a person as a parameter and then return, or I guess we could just print out uh, and I'll use ES6 template literals here. Hey, and then we want to say, Hey, and then get the person dot first name space person dot last name. So this should just print out when I call it for me personally, it'll print out James quick. So let's create a person. So let's say James equals, and then give a first name and say it's James and a last name, which is quick. All right. So in just regular JavaScript, if I finish this out correctly in regular JavaScript, I could call a welcome person. And that would be fine even if I didn't pass in a parameter, but VS Code here, because we're in a TypeScript file is already letting me know, hey, you can't call this function without a parameter because it expects a parameter. So this is already just kind of right off the bat, VS Code has already given us some tips here. Now, even though it's gonna make sure I pass in something, I could pass in whatever I want. I could pass in a string that says hello and Visual Studio Code TypeScript doesn't know that this is a problem. So we could take this one step further and create an interface called person and we can say it's going to have a property of first name which is a string and a property of last name which is also a string so this is the definition of what a person object looks like these are the required fields that it needs to have so in typescript i can now define in my welcome function or welcome person function that i need to accept that kind of parameter so let's say i'm going to take in a person and now VS Code is gonna tell us, hey, this is a string, this is not a person object. You can't do that. You actually need to person and pass in an object. If I just pass in an empty object, I'll still get an uh, error there, but I can pass in my James object and I should be good. Now, same kind of thing with, uh, what if we wanted to return something from this function and we just wanted to, let's say we wanted to return this string. All right, so we can return that string 
but it doesn't really matter what we return at this point because we haven't defined that we're going to return a string. So I can say in this function, it's going to return a string. So here it's valid. If I returned 15, this is gonna give me an error and say obviously 15 is a number, it's not a string. So this is VS Code really quickly giving you some insight into, into some errors that you probably may not have caught until going to production with JavaScript. I personally love TypeScript. It's for these kind of things that make a big difference in your development workflow. So after I've got a uh, my app TS here, I can actually I can actually compile this. Now TypeScript compiles into regular JavaScript, which is what the browser sees. So I can say app or TSC app TS. And this is going to create a JavaScript file in here. And you'll probably notice there's no return definition, there's no parameter definition, uh, there's no interface. It got rid of all that stuff because this is just regular JavaScript. Uh, you'll also notice that it converted our uh, template literal string to a concatenated string, which we'll talk about in a second again. So one thing to know here is with, with a TypeScript file and an, a JavaScript file open in the same directory, it's going to think that they're competing with each other. So if I export a, an empty object here, it's basically gonna mark this TS file as a module, and now it's got, not gonna compete with that app TS. So now that we've got our app.js, we can actually run that file with node and it's just gonna print out hello world, which is the first line and then also, hey, James Quick. So this, this, uh, this TypeScript package gives us the ability to convert or compile TypeScript right into regular JavaScript, which your browser and or node will understand. So we can take this a step further by creating a configuration file for TypeScript. So this is, we can do this by saying TSC dash dash init this will create a tsconfig JSON file. Inside of here, you can see you've got something like compile to ES5. We can change this to ES6. And now I can run TSC. This will actually run, this will run my tsconfig configuration automatically. So I can just run TSC and it's gonna do the same thing. And in here, we should see now that uh, we've got uh, template literals here. So this is ES6 JavaScript that it compiles to, which is great. A couple more things in the esconfig. I can change the out directory here to say I want to put my uh, my compiled JavaScript in a disk folder and then run TSC again. And now we should see it will create a disk folder which has an app.js as well. So uh, one of the things that VS Code does, which is really awesome, is it gives you IntelliSense inside of your tsconfig. So if I start typing, if I start typing out, it gives me IntelliSense for all the different properties on a tsconfig which makes it incredibly easy to, to create your TS config. Then with the built-in terminal, you can just run your, you can run your, your config with just typing in TSC right there. It's real quick, it's real easy, and it's pretty amazing. So the last thing I wanna show you is actually part of uh, JavaScript. So if I come into the JavaScript file here, and if I start typing console.log, notice I'm getting this IntelliSense, I'm getting these functions, and then I'm also getting a, a definition for this function which says that it can take in a message which is anything and then it returns void so it doesn't return anything. This is actually a TypeScript definition file for basic built-in JavaScript functions. So VS Code has created TypeScript typings for your JavaScript. So with those functions, I don't even have to be in a TypeScript file. I can type in document.query selector and I get the definitions and of the function and the return values and everything right there because VS Code has already tied that into the editor, which is pretty sweet. And then obviously in TypeScript, you'll get that same sort of IntelliSense as well that you can see popping up there, which is pretty cool. So the last thing I wanna show you guys is if you're, if you're a front-end developer, if you work with React or Angular uh, or Vue, you may or may not know that Angular CLI projects come pre-configured to work with TypeScript, which is pretty sweet. I think this has helped TypeScript gain some popularity and TypeScript just seems to continuously grow and grow, and I absolutely love it. Actually, Create React App now has a configuration for TypeScript, and I think the Vue CLI has a configuration for TypeScript as well. So a couple questions for you guys as we wrap up this video. I'm curious, are you using TypeScript? Are you using VS Code? How do they work together? And then I'm curious to see what you guys think of Dev Collective after you check it out. So answer those questions in the comments. I love to hear from you. I want to thank you guys for checking out another video and I will see you in the next one.